what? We are doing another haul. Today, it is Costco. Costco <laughs> it is. So, due to popular demand, we have decided to go to Costco. We are gonna get a Costco membership and we are going to do a similar haul to Sam's Club, but we're gonna do it at Costco today. Yep, so we're excited. We're gonna go ahead there. I'm sure it's gonna be crazy busy because it always is, um, but we haven't had a membership there for years. We love it. We don't have anything against Costco. We just have always done Sam's because of the convenience of going and picking up the groceries. So today it's Costco. We are gonna stock up our fridge and cupboards and hopefully it'll last us quite some time. And stay tuned for later because we have a giveaway that we are doing um, today. Or while we show you guys the groceries and things like that, um, we're gonna announce what the giveaway is. So stay tuned for that and we will see you guys at Costco. All right guys, hey, what's up? So here we are at Costco. It is already packed. We are clear in the back of the parking lot right now. Um, so yeah, tons of people. I was just telling Danny, it's like a Walmart here. Yeah. I mean, you know, not like Walmart, but as busy as Walmart. So we're heading inside right now. <laughs> So, rainy day. So, uh, we forgot to tell you as we're going in, our budget for today is $600. So, today we are doing a $600 massive Costco haul. So, we gotta get two carts. Yes, we do. Alright, so we just got in, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I already don't like it as much as Sam's. Oh, stop. No. Like, look, just to get out of the store. Hmm. Crazy. That's a line to go home. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh man, already anxiety is I just need to go over and get a hot dog and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ew. not as good all right so we just got memberships and uh, Tina got Tina just passed went through security she got no so she, she got frisk. didn't get frisk what the <laughs> heck? you got frisk you're so weird this place no, like the lady was just saying that they count every head that comes in and they open that many registers depending on how many people oh, wow. are here efficiency so that's pretty smart yeah I so like then it. I wonder if they take count of how many people are leaving that way. Probably. Hey. Did you go see what's going on for the members yet? No. Is yeah. that by any chance um, um, using like hot cable or dish network at all? Unfortunately, hot. Right, hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So members, they've been noticing the rate to just keep going up, guys. Yeah. Okay, so whenever you come to a new store, whenever we come to a new store, see, this is already. <laughs> Okay, I like My easy. I like up. easy. And this isn't this as is, easy as I it's expected. Fine. It's fine. But we did have great customer service getting our membership. Yes, shout out to the lady at the desk. She asked us if we were vloggers, so hopefully she comes check this out. If you do, comment below. We forgot to ask you your name. Yeah. But and awesome customer service. Yeah, so I was already like walking in frustrated and that kind of eased it a little bit. But now I'm back. Tina's looking at couches and we came for we came for fruit. As we said, budget is six hundred dollars today. Six hundred. That's what we're doing, and I don't know why I'm walking down this aisle. It's, it's not, this is not we got, size for you. Yeah, we're in the Choney's aisle. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna start with water. We're gonna go two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for forty, which isn't bad. We usually pay about three something for thirty two. So already starting off on the right track. Actually, um, maybe I should uh, get that water for you. Yeah, thanks. Two of them. Muscle. So I got two of those. That's pretty good.
we are here in the organic section and it looks like everything that is labeled green is organic. So keep that in mind. Also, if you go to the two review, they also have a Costco kind of likes, dislikes vlog that was really good and helpful. Um, it talks about all of the pricing, the 99, 79, uh, 69s, the 45s, and the zeros. Uh, whenever the price ends in those numbers, there's always a meaning behind it. So we're gonna attach their vlog and we're also gonna attach um, a blog that I pulled up that has all of those manager specials and the uh, manufacturer specials. We'll put that on there as well for you guys to see. All right, but the green is organic. So we're kind of staying away from that. Nope, I just what? got some stuff. What'd you get? I got the uh, organic first smoothies. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. That's decent. Yeah. Ooh, look at the creamies. <laughs> Are those organic? <laughs> I'm going for some organic cheesecake. Kids would love the creamies. Creamies? I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever had creamies? If you have, let us know. I don't think we're gonna get it right now, though. So that's what the, one of the things about the Costco and the and the um, Sam's Club halls is you're getting a lot of household items as well, like toilet paper, paper towels, freezer bags, freezer bags sandwich bags, in bulk. So a little money goes to that as well. Whereas we, when we normally go to Trader Joe's or somewhere like that, we're just strictly getting food. So I'm wondering if their yeah, lunch meats, their roast, I wonder if they have a roast beef for me that have more than six slices. How many slices? absolutely can't do when you give yourself a large budget and you come to a Costco or Sam's. And come hungry? Yeah, you <laughs> cannot come hungry because I'm just pulling stuff off the shelf like no other. We have not had good luck. If you know of any like microwavable or even, okay. even conventional oven taquitos that you can pop in, let us know because we've had bad luck with taquitos. I get a little, I get grouchy when there's a lot of people. But it's okay, it's okay, it's worth it, right? We probably have to come a few times to like get it down inside. Yeah. It's too bad they don't, they don't offer, the, they don't offer, right? They don't offer the, um, no, we asked her. The online ordering, unfortunately. So Sam's Club has one up them on that big time. That'd be cool if they had a cart that was doubled up. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be cool if they had a cart that was doubled up like that? Yeah. Grandma Sycamore bread, the bomb. Grandma Sycamore. Is Grandma that white? Sycamore. Ask Inez. This is the best bread ever. We always mention Inez in our yes. food hall. Yes. So, Hi, Inez. In <laughs> fact, we are probably going to be doing a haul with Inez. Yes. We keep, we keep like saying we're going to do it. I promise we're going to do it, Inez. This aisle is not the aisle for me. Oh, but the other side's the protein drink. Yeah. Tina. Me. <laughs> protein. M&M's. <laughs> so we already have two carts full and we haven't gotten, we haven't, um, we haven't stopped by the produce yet. So I don't know what we're going to do. What are we going to do about the produce? <laughs> We gotta go find it. Yeah, but where are we gonna put it? We'll find a spot. In your purse. Yeah, we'll find a spot. Let's put it in your purse. How many apples can you fit? Seriously, I can't even move. Which apples are are you getting apples? 
Are these the ones that you were talking about, or do they have? Are they organic or? Is it... Sign green? Yeah, no, I'm saying like, are there other ones? The ones that you want, are they organic? That's better. How do you guys tell if a watermelon is good? Because I've heard if it has... I eat it. If it's really yellow, or if it sounds hollow. That's what I've heard. I eat it to say if it's good or not. Yeah, you can't eat it in the store. <laughs> Why not? They give samples. Just take a bite. Not of watermelon. <laughs> Which one feels more like knocking on my head? All of them. Oh. <laughs> not the ripe ones. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what is that? That's good. What is it? What is it? The next thing that you did Caesar. Ooh. Strawberries. Strawberries are nine bucks for what? Eight ninety nine for. Well, we'll get it, but Sprouts is two for ten. I know. No, how much is Sprouts? Two for five, right? Yeah, but they're smaller. They're like half of this. Yeah, and they're five. That's nine, so it's like double. So I really think that we're gonna go over the budget. <laughs> what do you, I think we're gonna go over the budget? We haven't been really keeping track, so yeah. that's our fault. There's one cart, there's another. Right here. Get to the left. Oh, nice. Come on. Beef and bacon and meatballs. No worries, eh? Too much stuff. Later. Yes, okay, so. We came in dollars. here with a $600 budget, scratch that. We don't know, we'll see. I have a feeling it's gonna be more. If it's under 600, then we did an amazing job without yes. even knowing it, so. Or if we did an amazing job, we really didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's our total right there. We went $71 over. Way to go, babe. Hey, without a calculator, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not without too a shabby. Not bad. I know. <laughs> Check this out. Can't even see. Check. This is. All right. Woo! We just finished up. Oh my goodness. Two hours. That took us two hours, you guys, but we expected it to kind of be long because we know Costco's busy. We love Costco. Like, I love the stuff you can get there. I love the prices. The prices aren't horrible. Um, but honestly, just the crowds, like, drive me crazy. And mainly because some people just aren't courteous. Like, they just will cut you off or they'll leave their cart in the middle of the thing. And so I, I kind of, I need to be more patient. It's a lesson in patience, I think, but... Um, yeah, it was it was good. And I was just telling Danny, the lines there are super long to pay, but I feel like they go pretty fast. Like we I don't feel like we waited in line that long. Like they have a system down where they like get it in and get it out. So, it wasn't horrible to wait in line. It, honestly, it was just walking through the aisles with all the all the people that were there. That was crazy. Um, but we asked the lady that works there when's a good time to go when it's not crowded. And she says Saturday mornings are usually the least crowded because people like to sleep in or whatever. And so, sometimes, sometimes they open the doors a little early. Yes. And so if you're there early, like right when it opens or a little earlier, there's a chance you can get in. Good experience. We spent a lot of money. We went $70 over our budget, but that's okay because we weren't really calculating. We were just kind of grabbing things we needed and things we wanted and... I'm very hungry, so... Danny came hungry, so that's probably not a good thing to do. Yeah. But it was good. I'm glad I have him to come with me because I wouldn't do a Costco run by myself. I just would get way too overwhelmed. Yeah, because when you think about... When you, when you think about it, we took two hours to get all of this, right? It literally could take us 20 to 30 minutes at Sam's Club. When yeah, you have that, when you have that, like we have a membership there and the membership here and we're like, 
it's hard not to just lean towards Sam's Club just, just for that. Pure convenience. That's two hours of our that's two hours of our day. Yeah. So just out of pure convenience, I'm sure we'll use Sam's Club much, much more, but we'll still go to Costco quite a bit probably and get I mean, they have some things at Costco that they don't have at Sam's, so we'll still do it, but um, yeah, we just will have to plan out a huge chunk of our day and I think a lot of it is too We haven't been in years and so just trying to find everything and figure out where it's all at in the store and stuff Kind of took some time throughout all of this. It's been an awesome learning experience. We lean more towards <laughs> Sam's Club <laughs> and Trader Joe's and um, I Would say even sprouts for produce. Yeah, so we still have a Winco to do um one of these days yeah and okay so we're headed home we're gonna show you guys everything that we bought and then we are gonna give you the details to enter the giveaway we will give you all those details when we're back at home and showing you guys the groceries so stay tuned for that and don't forget to keep watching so that you can catch on um, and find out how you could win the giveaway all right, hey guys, we just got back from Costco. Just a little disclaimer, the stuff is not the healthiest stuff, so if you don't wanna watch some of this junk food, go ahead and click away now. Don't forget, you guys, watch until the end because at the end of this video, we are gonna give you guys, um, we're gonna let you know uh, what you guys need to do to enter the giveaway and we're gonna let you know what the giveaway is. So stay tuned for that and let's get started on this. All right, so first things first. I'm gonna try to go, well, we'll just go like this. Okay, so we got the Tyson uh, breaded chicken breast tenderloins, um, just for a quick, easy meal. Tyson's chicken is, to me, yeah. it's yeah, one of my favorites. It. I love the Tyson's chicken patties, the breaded chicken patties, the breaded chicken strips, the nuggets, the, but Tyson's chicken. Let us know what you think of Tyson's chicken, because yeah, I, like, I Tyson's like it. Chicken. It's, it's good, it's better than the other stuff that we've gotten. Um, we've got the Harvest Snaps. We really like these. The lightly salted ones. Just a good, nice little snack to snack on. I don't know if they're healthy. I don't know. Um, they're a good snack. We like them. So we got those. We got some bananas. And we've got, we got some of their meat. So, Danny was happy about these meats. The seasoned roast beef. So we got two of these. Um, and they're pretty bulky. It doesn't say how many's in here. Does it give a pound? 1.28 pounds. So we got two of those that I think will last us for a little while for lunches and things like that. Um, we got the salami, the hard salami. The kids love these for lunch also. Um, and that's gonna last us quite a while, which is awesome. Uh, I feel like we're always buying lunch meat, so it's nice to buy it in bulk just to have it because we use it like every day. Um, then we got the pastrami there, the uncured pastrami, and this is like no MSG, extra lean, slowly roasted, gluten-free, which I think is the same for the roast beef also. Yes, so those are good meats. Um, we got the mild cheddar cheese grated. Um, it comes with two, just like this. That's how it comes. So we got that gluten-free. Um, Produced without artificial growth hormones, so that's awesome. <laughs> Why are that's you laughing? Because <laughs> I got to throw that out there. All right, we got the Asian cashew chopped salad. I've had this before. It's actually really, really good. We'll just throw some chicken in there, and that'll be a meal. So um, we're gonna do that one night. And then we got these organic stretch island um, kind of like fruit roll-up type kinda things. like fruit roll-ups i think they're going to be good though we haven't had these before but they they look good i don't know <laughs> the kids will like them they'll be good um for their lunches and then we got some parmesan um cheese i like to make alfredo sauce with this so maybe we'll do a vlog where i do with the our my alfredo recipe the kids love it we do it with the tortellini which i have also we just got the organic spring mix for salads um we got low fat cottage cheese comes in a bin three pounds that's some cottage cheese that's right there cottage that's some cheese. serious cottage cheese we'll eat it though we'll go through it a little salt and pepper we like it oh someone commented um, cottage cheese with sliced grapes. We'll have to try it. I've never tried it before. I bet it's good though. And then we got some chicken. Oh my gosh. We're always getting oh chicken. Oh my gosh. 
we got the thin sliced um, chicken breasts. So we got these, I use chicken all the time for just different things. Um, so we just got a huge big bag of this, which is, will last us a little while, which will be nice. Cause I'm always, that's another thing I'm always buying is chicken. Um, we got these garden veggie burgers. We've never tried them before, um, but we're gonna give it a try and see. They didn't and have Boca burgers. Protein. They didn't have Boca burgers, so we got yeah, no Boca burgers. The Morning Star, I think. Yeah, I think they'll be okay though. I think they'll be okay. So we're gonna try those out. We still have not tried our veggie, uh, what is it, hot, hot dogs. dogs? So we'll let you know how those are. Too. Then we got the applesauce, organic applesauce, just in the little you know pouches. Um, we got the mandarin oranges, which this comes. I'm not sure how much comes in here. And these are great after school snacks. Yeah, the kids love this stuff. Where the heck? No added sugar, no added sugar. Um, perfect snack size, 20 cups. So there's 20 cups in here. Um, so that's not too bad. Okay. All right, and then we got some of the veggie straws, uh, sea salt flavor. I really like these. The kids really like these. They're a good little snack again for them um, for like after school or in their lunches. Um, we got the organic tortilla chips just with salsa or whatever we want to use it for. Nachos. Um, oh yeah, we got stuff for nachos, so we're going to do that. Danny loves the nacho cheese, which I'll show you Nacho uh, cheese. In a minute. We got the dried mangoes. We got this and Danny says, uh, we can get those if you don't eat them all. Last time I bought a bag, I didn't get one. They're so good. I don't know how they are at Costco. I've never tried them at Costco, but we, where did we get them from? The other ones that I ate all of them. Uh, Vons. Vons. Well, he's too slow. He takes too long to eat them. It was a few days. And Jeez. the bag was little. Okay, anyway. You gotta get the Trader Joe's um, Sriracha uh, oh. mangoes. Mangoes. No, we gotta go to Trader Joe's to get the the bacon. Yes, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. That's probably gonna be one of our upcoming hauls, yeah, Trader Joe's. But it. this is gonna last us. This is gonna last us for a very long time. Quite a while. Maybe if, a month. If we go to Trader Joe's, it's gonna be for like dinner foods. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't think we could go through a haul without mentioning Trader Joe's. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we got the flour tortillas. It comes with two packages of. I don't even know how many's in here. Um, I don't know. Two packages of tortillas coming back. Um, we got some salsa. Salsa, salsa. Paste pecani sauce. Paste pecani sauce. We got pickles. You guys, the baby pickles are the best. Baby dills. Oh. So we will go through these. Why are you laughing at Because I know Cucumber Lady, she's Oh, gonna... stop. <laughs> Every time. Anyway, so we got- We gotta find out her name because she... We have it, it's in there. We gotta look <laughs> on the comments. Um, you know who you are. Um, the Pledge, I like this spray for like dusting and stuff. I really like it. So, and it smells yummy. So we got that. We got the apples, the organic appleys. And um, honey crisp, the honey crisp organic apple. We got some bacon. So this bacon comes with four packages, which is quite a bit. Yeah. We're gonna have to freeze a lot of that because we don't make a lot of bacon. We have another fridge in the garage that we can store stuff away. In. Yes. We got these um, kiwi fruits. Love kiwis. They're delicious. So I got those. The kids love these too. So. They will not be wasted. The kids will eat those. And then we got the chicken meatballs for one night with the, the rice that we got. What is it? The basa what is it? Basmati. Bas basmati. Basmati. Basmati rice. So we'll make this one night with that rice, which we made the other night. It was so good. It was really good. Danny it loves- It doesn't, it, the basmati rice doesn't clump together. No. It doesn't at it's all. It's actually really good. Yeah. I really liked it. So we'll probably get more of that. Um, the French bread, which we, Danny loves the French bread for... Roast beef sandwiches, yeah. and then I also make a, um, a cheese bread with Parmesan, In the shredded oven. cheese, um, butter, just totally healthy for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Anything with <laughs> bread and cheese on it is healthy. Uh, <laughs> we got this, I'm kind of excited about this, super easy. We just got the chicken breast strips to throw in salads or whatever. We could actually put this with our Asian salad that we got. So that's that's pretty good amount of chicken right there. So we got that. 
Um, we got string cheese, of course, for the kids. They love string cheese. Um, so we'll go through that. And then strawberries. You know, if you've seen our other hauls, our kids love, love, love strawberries. So this probably won't last very long. They Expensive. Yeah, it was $8.99 for one of these. So these each are... one is like two of Sprouts, and Sprouts had two for five. So yeah. that would have been 10 bucks, but each one of those was $8.99. So yeah. almost double. Sprouts is the strawberry more. king. Yeah, and Vaughn sometimes has good deals on their strawberries. But those look like good strawberries. Those don't look nasty. Um, sour cream, we got a big tub of it, three pounds. Here we come, tacos. And then we got some Italian dressing from the Olive Garden. Green seedless grapes we got. The purple grapes we usually get, but they make my mouth feel dry. Does that happen to anybody else? Like when you eat purple grapes, they make your mouth dry? I don't know if it's a purple grape thing or what. That's what happens to me but with cranberry juice. It happens to the kids too, I don't know why. Um, and then I got this for some smoothies. Um, it's the organic smoothie blend. It's got pineapple, kale, broccoli, and green apple. So that'll be good flavoring for a smoothie um, in the mornings. And then this is the five cheese tortellini pasta. You can see in there. That's a decent amount. That'll probably feed us though one night. So I will do in one of our blogs, I will do um, the recipe for um, the Alfredo pasta that I do. And then we got butter, because we use butter all the time, so we got four of those. They come in a pack of four. So that's good, that'll last us quite a while. And then we got Hot Pockets for the kids. They love Hot Pockets, guys. Sorry, they do. And um, they'll just have it for like an after school snack. Sometimes we'll just split it in half. Are you falling asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Danny's back there closing his eyes, so sorry if the camera's all crazy. Um, I'm relaxing. He just got back from California, so he's tired. All right, so we got the Hot Pockets. We got the pizza singles. Six pepperoni, six cheese, just quick, easy, stick it in the oven. Kids can eat it and whatever. And then we got the organic diced tomatoes. So I use this just a lot for cooking different things and stuff. So, and then we got some baked beans. Amberlynn will eat these constantly. Am I boring you? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's really sick like, like this. <laughs> Stop. That's what he looks like right now. If I had a camera on him, you would be able to see. So anyways, um, what else did we get? Oh, the Marie Calendar. You guys, these are so good. My kids love these. They're the Chicken Pot Pies Marie Calendar. It comes with eight. Um, they have chili ones at Walmart that are really good too, but they didn't have them here. So I was bummed. And they didn't have them at Sam's Club. Yeah, either. Walmart's the only one that we know as of now that has the chili. The chili. And the chili is so good. You just put a little sour cream in there and ooh, so delicious. And then we got... So if you know of anywhere that has the Marie Callender's um, chili pot pies in bulk, like eight or more, let us know because we will buy a ton of them. Yeah, they're delicious. Okay, and then I got this protein and greens. The samples got me. I, I tried one of the samples, and it actually, Danny was like, whatever about it. I really liked it. I thought it had a good taste to it. Of course, we'll add some stuff to it, like, I don't know what, fruits or something. Um, but I'm gonna have that for my morning protein shake. Um, we got some cinnamon toast crunch, which I still need to get bins for my cereal, so we can have bins and not boxes. They're a pain. I'm running out of room. Okay, so we got some cup of noodles, um, 24 pack. Now, again, a good snack for after school. The kids can have a little snack or whatever. Um, we got the Nutella and Go. Emberlyn, obsessed with Nutella. Like she, she wants it all day long. So we just got her these little snacks. Put it in her lunch or after school, of course. Um, so there's those. Oh, and that comes in a 12 pack. That comes with 12. Um, we've got the mozzarella sticks in a crispy seasoned breading. So Danny grabbed these because he's hungry. He's Seriously. been starving all day, so he just uh, was grabbing all sorts of crap, basically. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> you are gonna, you're gonna eat those I too. I am not. Okay, I might. Um, bagel bites, again, a snack, you guys, I know. Sam's Club and Costco, this is what we get. Bottom line, that's just what we get. Yeah. 
that's it. Yeah, if you don't <laughs> need to comment no... that it's gonna cause cancer and we're killing our kids, we're not. I grew up on this stuff, I'm alive. So just relax. Uh, and most of you are, are totally understanding yeah. about it. But you get those select few that, yeah, whatever. We got some eggs that, we got two things of eggs because we eat eggs every morning for breakfast. Usually the kids want eggs. Um, of course, I love just the, you know, the bulk of like the Ziploc bags, like stuff that you use all the time. It's so nice at Costco just to grab those things and not have to worry about them for, for a while. So, and then we got some bags of chips. We got these ones with all these different flavors. It tells you how many bags of each is in there. 28 bags total. We do these for kids' lunch, the kids' lunches and things like that also. And, all right, so this is probably the healthiest thing we got. Ugh. Guys, this is all cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Danny was hungry there, so he felt like he needed to get all this stuff. Nacho but cheese. That's perfect to put in the crock the pot. He nacho cheese stuff. So we'll stick this in the crock pot one night, and we'll have nachos. We'll do... Movie night or something. Yeah, we'll do like a movie night and have nachos, and it'll be delicious. So... We got that, we got some um, oranges. We got the Hawaiian rolls, which are really yummy. So good for, you know, any dinner that you wanna put on, um, on the side or whatever. It's good like when you have like mashed potatoes, I like take it and I like kind of dip it in mashed potatoes or soup or like a gravy or soup or yeah, anything. It's, it's yummy. Or just alone. Or you could just put some like roast beef in there and eat it that way. Um, we got bread, which I was excited. They have the Grandma Sycamore's bread, which if you guys have had this, you know it's absolutely delicious. So we got, how many did we get of these? We got three six. packs of these. So we got six loaves. Um, so we'll put some in the freezer for later. Seriously, Danny's falling asleep again. <laughs> you guys, did you feel that movement? That was Danny falling asleep, see? No, I just see, put no, my... No, don't even. He was like this. I'm editing it out. You guys, am I that boring? No. Really? Man. You're not editing that out. <laughs> okay, and so now we got we got the three pack of orange juice, the Simply Orange. Our kids love this. We get it no pulp because no one likes pulp in this house. And then we got the Eggo Waffles, home style. Um, 72 waffles in this bad boy. So kids sometimes like that in the morning with eggs. Um, Do you like butter on your waffles? We okay. have some kids who don't. And I like my waffles crunchy. Yeah, and some of our kids like it microwave. Like so it's soggy. Much. It's so oh, gross. The gross. Yeah. Then we got this um, Cascade Complete, just the dishwasher detergent. 90 comes in this, so there's 90 in there. We got some pure protein bars just as a snack to have. We're um, hiding those. We're hiding these because they're expensive and we don't want the kids to eat them. So that's going to go in our room. And then we got these waters. I'm not going to pick them up, QCM. Yeah. We got the Kirkland brand waters. There's 40 in each, and they were only $2.99. So that's a great deal, I think. Um, 80 waters for six bucks. Yeah, which is not bad at all. I would consider going and getting just the water there. Um, and then the last thing is our, we got a watermelon. You got the chips? So, we got those chips, yeah. Yeah, we got these chips. These were the other chips that we got with those others um, for their lunches also. How many times have I said for their lunches? Probably a million. Oh, and then we got paper towels and um, toilet paper. So we got um, the Kirkland brand of both. The uh, the paper towels come in 12 rolls and the toilet paper comes 30 rolls. So we got those as well. And that's about it. We got this watermelon. And the reason why I waited till the end for this watermelon <laughs> is it kind of has something to do with our giveaway. No, we're not giving you a watermelon. <laughs> So we will be giving away a $25 Visa gift card. Um, and so to enter what you need to do, and this is where the watermelon comes in, is we have a challenge in our challenge playlist. It's the, wa what's it called? The watermelon. Exploding watermelon challenge. Exploding watermelon challenge, okay? So for, for you guys to enter, I need you guys to go over and watch that video. And then in the comments in that video, I want you guys to tell us what your favorite part of that video is, and then I want you to hashtag giveaway so that we know that you guys are entering in for the giveaway. So everyone who enters in for the giveaway, we will randomly select um, a winner, and then we will announce that winner at our next um, oh. haul. So go enter, go watch that video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. 
Um, and we will gladly answer those questions for we'll you. We'll put a link to the video in the description as well. Yes, so that you guys can go straight to it. So go watch it. Again, tell us your favorite part of that video, of the watermelon, uh, exploding watermelon challenge video. And then hashtag after what you've told us is your favorite, hashtag giveaway. So that we know that you guys are entering in for the giveaway. All right, so there you go. That is everything. That is the Costco, our big Costco haul. This better last us quite a while because that was not cheap, but I think it will. I think we'll get our money's worth out of it. Again, love Costco, crazy busy, um, but if I'm with Danny, I feel like we can, we can deal with it together and it's fine. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget that we not only do hauls, we have vlogs on our channel. We have challenges that we do with our families. If you guys like this haul, please give it a thumbs up. Go check out our other videos and subscribe. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Um, we really appreciate it and we're grateful for all the support that you guys give us. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. We're so close to 3,000, guys, and we're so grateful for all the ones that we have on board. Um, we really appreciate all of your support, especially with the hauls. You guys have been so supportive with these hauls and um, we're definitely grateful, which is why we want to give back a little and do a little giveaway for you guys. All right, so thanks for watching and we will catch you guys next time.